This is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. G'day there, podcaster. Yes, and welcome to Ticket Daddy, uh, which you can all call me from now on. Um, if you rub Ticket Daddy's back hard enough, um, he'll give you tickets. Come over here, Ticket Daddy. Ooh. Uh, you like I really that? want, um, uh, can nice. I get some Lewis Capaldi tickets? Please? You know what you have to do. <laughs> no, um, sorry, you both didn't rub hard enough. Um, you will not receive tickets from today. Damn. Today. Well, no. try again tomorrow. I normally can do that. I, I uh, also <laughs> like the title um, of um, Church of the Donut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there were some good lines. There's some good ones. Could have also been, like, probably would have been smarter just to um, have, like, the big news of today. Like, the big news that we talk about. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not as funny, though, is it? No. <laughs> anyway, look, it, look, it's good to finally be back uh, into it. And, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun first day back, so enjoy the pod. Hey, Liam, guess what I got? What do you got? Kasabian tickets. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to have to twist Ticket Mummy's <laughs> nipples. For the, I, I well, why is it's he getting mummy? I have... uh, well, I'm Ticket Daddy, so you've got to be Ticket yeah, Mummy. Yeah, but you I'll be... go Ben's Daddy too, and then I'm Mummy. I'll be Uncle Ticket Monster. <laughs> 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 Uncle Ticket. What Uncle do you do, t- Uncle t- Ticket <laughs> Monster? To, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, good morning, Melbourne. We are back. Yeah, get out of here, Smallsy. Ben, Liam, and Bell are back. Two weeks off, feeling refreshed, recharged. Bell, some big life news from you, yeah. uh, which we'll be hearing about after eight o'clock this morning. So, either uh, pregnant or engaged. Uh, or leaving the show. <laughs> Who knows? So I suppose it'd be one. I suppose it'd be one of those three things. Hey, um, even bigger than Bell's news, we got Taylor Swift oh, tickets to okay. give away. That's pretty exciting for all the Tay Tay heads. Um, right now, though, we need you to call us up thirteen twenty four ten. We are doing the six ten quiz. Mm-hmm. Let's see Smallsy do that, hey? <laughs> yeah, you got Tom Cruise. That was pretty cool. But can you do the 610 quiz with maybe two or three callers? He also had Margot Robbie as well. Yeah, like, Margot, we yeah. go away and he yeah. gets everyone. He had a good How run. That Smallsy did have a good run. I'll give him that. I will give him that. What if.com helps Aussies make the most out of every trip? Book a hotel, flight, lake checkout, and spa, all before you can say brekkie buffet. Jump on the What If app and get started. What if it's Aussie for travel? Um, we're back from two weeks off um, from our holiday break. And whilst we were on our break, my mum and dad came over to visit, which was very lovely. Ben, I, I love your parents, Murray and Marie. They're very salt of the earth, very country. Mm. Um, I mean, they helped you move over to Melbourne from Adelaide mm-hmm. uh, in, in the first place a few months back. And um, very your dad, you you thought, hey, instead of paying for people like removalists who do this professionally and there's like two people either side and they can yep. just knock it out in like a day, mm. you thought you would just do it with your dad's truck. So yep. you loaded the stuff in together. Your wife, Sam, was, was pregnant at the time. Yep. On like a 40 degree day. It was the hottest day of the year last year. Truck didn't have um, any air con at all. You yep. drove over. Yep. Uh, and then when you finally got to Melbourne, which is like, you know, obviously it's like a nine hour drive. Obviously, if there's a, you know, a few mm. stopovers on the way, if you're yep. getting something to eat, blows out to 10 pretty easily. Yep. Uh, especially if you're in a truck. And uh, and then when you when you got to your new place in Glen mm-hmm. Iris, your dad went, right, well, let's unload this because I'm going to drive back. <laughs> and you, and you, you, I think you well, were assuming that they would probably stay the night. That's yeah. probably what most people would do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he just couldn't wait to get home, I suppose. He literally did a 24-hour trip with no sleep. That and he is... so we loaded the truck in the morning, drove all the way over, unloaded it, and then yeah. drove it back. That is insane. But that's very like them. Yeah. So yeah. you sort of know the people we're talking about. And so, uh, obviously, my wife, Sam, um, she's very heavily pregnant. She's 37 weeks and two days today. So wow. she's ready to pop. Um, and so they wanted to come over to come over and visit before mm. she gave birth, yeah. which is very lovely. And so they came over on Sunday night. It was short and sweet, and then they left on Tuesday. Long for them. Long for them, <laughs> yeah. Um, but they did the most mum and dad thing of all time. So on Monday night, I said, so what time are you going to leave tomorrow? And they said, oh, probably about 7 a.m. Yeah. I said, okay, no worries. So I set my alarm for 6.45 to say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> and so my alarm goes off, 6.45. I like wipe the crust out of my eyes. I go, all right, cool. I wake up. I go out to the lounge room and the dog's outside. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I went to go like check the bedroom and they were gone. And then I text my mom and I said, where are you? And she said, oh, we left to beat the traffic. <laughs> we, left, we left at 2am. Um, Murray, Murray couldn't sleep. Um, we wanted to get back to the farm. Oh, the whole thing was you came over yeah. to spend time with us and then they didn't even say goodbye. Do you 
see how you are the way you are, Ben? 100%. You are the I, oldest yeah. unit I, ever. Like, I said to my wife, Sam, I was like, no wonder I'm the way I am. Ben is so like emotional. It's, he's like the tin man. It's very hard to get through. And but I, yeah, when your parents are coming over to be like, congratulations, son. Yeah. I we can't wait to be grandparents. But they're like, ah, I better beat the traffic, better leave. <laughs> and they didn't even beat the traffic by like a few hours. I checked the cameras. So I woke up at 6.45. I've got footage of them sneaking out to the car at 6.40. <laughs> so, and they're like, quick, he's going to wake up, he's going to wake up. Get, get out, we're, doing, we're not good at goodbyes, oh, it's all awkward, we hate hugging and stuff, let's get out of here. You are here with Ben, Liam and Bell, back live on your radios after a much needed break. <laughs> oh, it's hard doing this stuff, man. People always, when you work in radio, people always say, why do you get so many holidays? I don't have the answer I don't to get that. it. I, I think, I, oh, I don't know, but... I... Look, I would say because we're not getting rated at that time, so we can have the week off. But we just should—we should just keep going. Like, there's no reason that we All need right, to Belle, go. Oh, you can keep going next time. <laughs> Bell, Bell's working Christmas, guys. Do you hear that? She's it's me just, and Smallsy. She's put her name up for hey, it. Hey, uh, thirteen twenty four ten is our number. Give us a buzz. Uh, we need some callers for the six ten quiz. So, if you win the six ten quiz, you get to choose the next song we play. Also, we're going to give you six bottles of wine mm. from Zonzo Estate. It's 6.10, hallelujah, it's 6.10. Oh, good morning, Madison Melton. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, well, did you miss us? Yes, I did. Oh. he just wasn't the same. Oh, oh yeah. No, but I, I suppose you did get your Tom Cruise and Margot Robbie, which we <laughs> cannot do. Um, however, uh, we're back. The uh, 6.10 quiz is on. Don't know if you saw this, but over the weekend, Taylor Swift brought Taylor Lautner up on stage with her. Can you name one movie that he stars in? Twilight. Yes, nice. I would have also accepted Shark Boy and Lava Girl, <laughs> his only other movie. Um, oh, Valentine's Day with Taylor that Swift. That is the worst movie ever. That should be. Is she in a movie? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. And she's with him in that movie. Don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it. Uh, okay, second question. A new breed of onion has been developed in Australia that supposedly doesn't make you cry. What makes you cry, Madison? My husband. (laughs) (laughs) Very real answer. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child has finally wrapped up in Melbourne after a record-breaking amount of shows. It really was the best. Can you name one professor who teaches at Hogwarts? Uh, Professor Snape. Yes, very good. We're Doing doing very well mm. this morning on a Monday. Also expected uh, Quirrell, Lupin, McGonagall, the list goes on. Uh, Channel 10 has announced Australian Idol will be returning and they're going to be bringing back one of the old judges. They haven't said who yet, uh, but can you please say Mark Holden's catchphrase? Oh. Um, when there was a really good performance and he'd like and he'd wind swing up. the yeah. arm around? yeah. I'm not sure. I don't oh, think I know it. You never, Jeez, you, Madison. I mean, really? <laughs> oh, yes, Madison. You, you stay there, Madison. We'll come back to you if our next caller can't get it right. Yeah. Uh, Mary in Mont Albert, do you know the catchphrase? Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> That's it. Here we go. Home straight now uh, for you. Harry Styles is the latest performer to be hit by someone throwing something at them whilst on stage. Can you finish these Harry Styles lyrics? Honey. Nah. Oh, oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, we're so close. Uh, 13, 24, 10. If you can finish those lyrics, give us a buzz. Let's go back to Madison now in Melton. Uh, Madison, can you please finish these Harry Styles lyrics? Honey. Oh, fire for you. Just let me adore you. Yes. Zero, zero vibe, but you did get the job done. Madison, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll send you along to the Hoyt's D-Box. You can try the new immersive experience. I did promise her six bottles of wine as well. Well, Liam, it's seems, Thursday back. Listen. seems you're getting wine and the movies now because we've said all of them. Huh? Well, hang, hang on, Maddie. What would you rather? Would you rather the D or yeah. would you rather some wine? The D-Box. I'm taking the D-Box. Oh, we're taking the D-Box. Oh, yeah. What are you going to go see? Are you going to see Barbie or Oppenheimer? Um, I don't know. I'll let my husband pick. 
I saw the new uh, Indiana Jones movie and I didn't think it was very good. Oh, did you? I didn't like it. Oh, he's just very old now. so old. Surprise, (laughs) surprise. You didn't like Indiana Jones 17 (laughs) starring (laughs) geriatric Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, wow. You didn't think that had as as much pizzazz as the Crystal Skull? Oh, real. Uh, Madison, you also get to choose the next song we play after the traffic. So, do you want to hear Outcast this morning? Bit of a slower, boring one. Or what? do you want to hear <laughs> Chili Peppers? Fly away on I feel it more than that is ever. slow. What do you want to hear, Madison? Chili Peppers. That is the Zephyr song from the Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers was our team name in a cooking class I did over the weekend with my fiance Sarah Ben and Bell. I don't know if you've ever done one of them before, but like it's. Were you like, wearing a leather jacket? Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, no, well, no, it is like I know it's lame, but like so it's like so it was us, and then there's like three other couples, and, and then you like break up into like um, different groups. So. Um, and you have like, you know, two, two or three Did other couples. Did you know these other couples? No, no, no. Like it's just like you go with your partner to the cooking class and it's like, there's like 30 people there oh. and they break you up into like four or five groups. I hate groups. when they try and make you socialize. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it is, and it's sort of, especially when they're like, you need to think of a team name. And it was a Thai cooking class. And so, and no one really wants to be the one who <laughs> has to come up with the name. You know what I mean? So yeah. like some people are like, Maybe bow tie and yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All those ones. Yeah. Titanic. Literally, oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, is it too early for a submersible joke? Probably. Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't. I didn't go there. Um, but there was a there was a dish um, in there that was like something. It was like a chili sort of dish. Yeah. So and I suggested red hot chili peppers. And there was this one really annoying couple on our team that no one really liked, and they were super loud. Like whenever the instructor was like, "Okay, guys," he'd be like. Okay, guys. Oh, and they, yeah. they, were this, they were they were these. They were nice, but they were just loud and. But this big South African couple, and um, when I said red hot chili peppers, the lady was like, "That's the South African band, the Red Hot Chili Peppers." <laughs> I'm like, they, "They have a song called Danny California, <laughs> and an album called California Cation, where they dream of the, the city and- I live in, the City of Angels, Los Angeles. They wear Lakers stuff on stage. They're very famously." From LA, like they are, and knowing you, Liam, and, and I know that you love your music, I yeah. feel like that would have really ate you up inside. Well, I was kind of like, oh no, and she she was like sort of arguing with me, like, no, they're South African, and I was like, <laughs> you can't just claim, like, I don't think any, like, Flea's born in Melbourne, actually, yeah. but like, you know, they're still very much like was LA. She thinking of Dantwood? Oh, maybe, or I don't know. Did Rodriguez, you do the whole like, Google... like Rodriguez isn't even South African? They just like him there. <laughs> they, they, you know what I mean? But so, and then no, so now I knew something was wrong because like later on, like we were literally like cooking, and the lady was like, "Oh, you know, flip to like page four mm. uh, for this Thai beef salad." And I kid you not, the the lady was like, "It's the good Sith Indian recipe," and I was like, "It's not. It says Thai in the title. Stop trying to claim everything good, okay?" <laughs> We need a little round of applause, I guess, Liam, yes. for Belle Jackson. Yes. Oh, stop. And her fiancé, Luke. Yeah, I said fiancé because <laughs> Belle got engaged in the holidays. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Liam. Yeah, it's weird, the word fiancé. Um, we've been doing that thing where we, we're like, yes, fiancé, yeah. and really just milking it for all it's worth. It's but... French, I believe. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I have one, so I know. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. So, so yeah, obviously we've had our two weeks off and uh, we spent the, Luke and I spent the first week of the break over in New Zealand with his family. Uh, we went to Queenstown. It was so beautiful. So, so lovely. And um, it, it just, it, it's one of those things where in the lead up to the break, I was making jokes going, ooh, Queenstown would be a nice place to propose. Mm. Ha, ha, ha. He was shutting them down left, right and centre. He was saying, nah, in no world is that happening in mm. this break. Nup, nup, nup. So got it out of my head. And then, um, yeah, it was second night in Queenstown. He had the ring. He brought it over in his check-in luggage. So not in his carry-on, mm-hmm. which right. stresses me out. Uh, but he, I didn't, I obviously didn't know he had it. He brought it over in his check-in and the whole plan was he was just waiting for the right moment. He was waiting for what he said is he was just, he knew when the moment would be, he knew oh, and that's when he was going to do it. That sounds like he didn't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it does a little bit. <laughs> well, I knew the moment would come at some point. 
<laughs> Between you... entree and main? I didn't think that was the right <laughs> moment. Oh, we booked in to go to, you know, New Zealand, they have the hot springs yes. and like hot pools. Oh, yes. Yes. So we and booked. And you could have, he could have done a bit of a, because that's where Lord of the Rings was filmed. And if he had the ring, he could have sort of done a funny thing of like throwing it into the. Do I look like the, that's how I want the, to be proposed you know, to? Mordor, like, you know, you probably don't know, you know. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it would play into the lore of the you know, franchise <laughs> oh, for sure. God. Well, we were in the hot springs and the hot pools and you get your own little private hot pool looking out onto the snowtop mountains. Oh, Absolutely wow. gorgeous. So you're, you're all warm, but it's oh, all yeah. icy out oh, there. Oh, yeah. And I'm, starting, the... I'm starting to wonder where did he hide the ring if he was in his yeah. budgies. <laughs> The Lord of the Ring, indeed. <laughs> okay. Well, it was next Frodo to the baggage. tub. And it, we had glasses of wine and there was a candle on and, and we went at sundown. So it got really dark and beautiful and the clouds were all really low. And we were just looking at And I said, oh, this is just absolutely perfect. Um, and then he said, oh, well, actually, I have a question to ask you. And he reached over outside the, the hot pool, pulled the ring box up and opened the box and said, will you spend the rest of your life with me? And of course I cried straight away. <laughs> I just burst into tears. And the ring is just, it's so beautiful. And he has actually had it for like, it's been made for months, turns out. Like he's had this in, in the works since the start of the year. Right. And he went and had lunch with my dad. He spoke to my mum. Uh, he you don't like, even do that. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get a hold of your dad? <laughs> Well, yes. So he <laughs> tracked him down and he went and had lunch with him, which is very old fashioned. And I, I, I am very old fashioned like that. Yeah. And I really yeah. respect that he did that. But the ring, it's from Moi Moi Jewels in um, Melbourne in the CBD. And it's all sustainably like sourced diamonds. It's like lab grown. So it's not from, you know, it's not a blood diamond. It's just gorgeous. It's and that so paid lovely. for that ring. <laughs> yeah. And I have now done the show yeah, to right. get out his gift. Exactly. <laughs> Snuck them and tell us where the hot springs are and the next deal they've got on. Uh, and saying, and uh, but, now with Air New Zealand, Melbourne. you can get there for just, oh, how's this? seventeen ninety nine return. It's a Melbourne brand. It's a Melbourne, like, you know, they're, yeah. they're in the city here and it's all, like, you know me, back to front. It's a s- sustainable diamond. So he's absolutely nailed it mm-hmm. and I am so, so happy. We are so just, yeah, I'm in absolute euphoria at the moment. And, um, yeah, he, he absolutely nailed it. Have you got a date picked out? Is that a secret? Can you reveal the well, date? Well, end of next year, because I did put that pencil date in the diary of if if I get proposed to, if we decide to get married, it would be the end of next year. Yep. Yeah, so if so... you didn't know that, Belle's a bit crazy. And she has <laughs> she picked her wedding date like 10 years ago. Mm. Okay, it was like two years ago. So I suppose that's the ring. We know how it was done. Uh, we know when. Have you thought about a man of honour yet? <laughs> oh my God, Liam, go away. Just thinking. Seriously. Just know these are all just the top line questions no, that people have. Back normally. off. Okay. I look good in a dress. <laughs> the world moves fast. Blink and you'll miss it. That's what it felt like with TikTok when it first came. Remember when TikTok was announced and it was like, what is that? Mm. Mm-hmm. And now it's the biggest social media app around. Like it's bigger than Instagram, bigger than Facebook. A lot of people are on TikTok. Yep. Well, that's what's happening again, it seems, with threads. Yeah, so Meta, who own Facebook, run by Mark Zuckerberg, they also have Instagram and now they've started Threads. It's basically just Twitter, really just owned by Insta. Uh, It started, it debuted with over 10 million users straight up. So as soon as it started, as soon as it opened, everyone was on it. If you've got Insta and you've gone into someone's profile, you might now see that they've got their little thread, like, Username number underneath their picture, and that's the number that they were assigned to when they so, signed up. Yeah, right. Because it's like it's one of those things that I think you know. Uh, this is what I every time a new social media comes out, I go mm. lame, lame, lame. I pay it out for like two years, and then mm. I get on it and go, "Geez, I wish I got on that." <laughs> yeah, like, even with TikTok, we literally made like a TikTok as a joke, and yep. I'm like, if we made that TikTok properly, then you'd have so many more followers. And yep. just yeah. sometimes you got to jump in as as new things are starting and look. You know, this has happened in the past. I mean, Instagram, when they added stories, everyone was like, what the hell? That's yep. just like Snapchat stories. Obviously, it killed Snapchat. Yep. And no one uses that anymore, except for Bill. 100%. I still love Snapchat. 132410, are you on the forefront? Are you taking that leap of faith and you're on threads? 132410 is the number. Apparently, 97 million people are already on it. It started like last week. So I, sati- I don't actually, I don't know anyone on it. So, statistically, people listening now are on threads. Yeah. And we want to pick your brain. Uh, Lachlan in Mont Albert joins us now. When did you jump on threads? So, I didn't jump on straight away. Mm-hmm. I Hang on, it started four days ago. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like, there was 
I knew people that jumped on like immediately yeah, as right. soon as it was launched. Mm-hmm. I think I waited like 24 hours and I, I'm i like the 27 millionth person. Oh Whoa. my God. So that's still pretty, you know, it's obviously it's getting close to like 100 million now. So you, you know, in the scheme of things, if this becomes a big thing that stays around for a long time, you are pretty early on. Yes. And I know this is a broad question, Lockie, but is it good? Do you enjoy it? To be honest with you, I like it. I like that it's... um. It's not too, like, overdeveloped yet. It seems, mm. like, really rogue and oh. there's, like, things about it that aren't necessarily, like, polished as of yet. Like, mm-hmm. if you compare it to something like Twitter. Yep. But I, at the moment, there's not a lot of hate on there either. Like, it seems all pretty, like, positive and upbeat. Mm. So, I don't know. I mean, I've added it to my social calendar, so, mm. you know. <laughs> oh, wow. So, so, when you wake up in the morning, you're going, like, Instagram... Maybe Facebook, and then you're going onto threads. Yeah, I have. I have added it in. Wow! So it's just like Twitter. What was your first? What was your first thread, Lockie? Ooh. It was a Chris Jenner meme. Great, love it, love it. <laughs> wow. So chic. Play well, safe. <laughs> we're not going to make you explain the meme because I feel like that always falls flat when someone tries to explain a meme. But we do appreciate you coming on this morning. I guess the elephant in the room is: Do we make Don't a get, show yeah. threads? Well, this what? is the thing. I mean, if you're looking on Twitter, 280 characters is the thing. With threads, 500 characters. Mm. So we could we could write a small paragraph. We could go pretty rogue on the emojis mm. if we wanted to. We've got 500 characters to play with there. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we keep... I mean, at least we can always say then, if we jump on now, team, yeah. we were within the first 100 million people to use True. this. Let's you know? do it. Let's, let's so we're going to do it. Yeah, let's jump oh, on. Let's, do let's it. jump on. Oh, oh, okay. oh, it's exciting. <laughs> I'm going to play some Kylie Minogue. Whilst Kylie plays, yeah. we're going to make a, a show threads. Oh, look out. And we'll come back and we'll tell you what it's like on there <laughs> in this wild west of a social media <laughs> land. We are talking about the new social media That seems to be kind of taking the world by storm. Threads is the name of it. It's Instagram's attempt at creating TikTok. And Uh, really, uh, Twitter. And and if you look at it, um, you know, Elon Musk was like, I want to cage fight Mark Zuckerberg. And he was like, yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to steal your thing first. I'm just going (laughs) to steal Twitter. And now, you know, who knows? Will Zuck bring out the Zuckmobile um, to combat Tesla? Will there be... Mark, mate, instead of PayPal or something like that. He's he's coming for Elon Musk. Now, the initial thing to do is scoff at this, like we did. When mm. you hear, oh, there's a new social media, you go, whatever, there's already enough of that in the world. But then you also don't want to miss the bandwagon. Um, almost 100 million people are on the bandwagon now. Um, Scudder, who works on our team in the audio booth, he said that he got in within the first two That's million. That's pretty cool. That's wild. Because That's what really it does cool. is when you when you sign up, it gives you a number, and that's the number you join well, in the world. Remember this number for the rest of your days, Ben. 97951804. That's oh, going yeah. so to be the million. name of my baby. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm pretty sure Elon Musk already took that. I think that is the name of one of his kids. Uh, so there you go. We just we just made it in just shy of 98 million. So, because it's, so basically you use the Instagram to make your threads. Yeah. Does that mean on threads we already have 150,000 followers uh, or do we have no followers? I don't. I'm just sort of looking at it now. I'm, d- I'm literally just opening it up for that. Like as soon as we sort of um, like came off air there and yep. just went into the song, mm. I was like, okay, how do you actually do this? But yep. it's actually pretty easy. It's like if you go top right, there's a thing that says threads and it makes you download this app really right. quickly. And and so it, it's already sort of linked. Are we, because it's linked, are we yeah. following the same uh, people we follow? I think follow? so. Well, who's Nugget? We follow someone called Nugget, and they're pretty funny. So Nugget, <laughs> I think, Nugget. I think I followed that one. I think. You follow Nugget? <laughs> yeah, so 90- I, think I did that on that. Instagram. So what's Nugget? Oh, it's just a fun meme page. <laughs> oh, Bell, we so, have a rule. Yeah. No fun so, meme pages on the work account. Well, I mean, you follow golf accounts on the work account, to yeah, be fair. Yeah. You both need to be like reprimanded. Anyway, Nugget um, is pretty good, Bell, to be fair. Um, it's there's one. This is just the first I'm reading. Why would my own brain ruin my own day like that? Like, whose side are you on, MF? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Um, there's another one. Oh, just, you can't just sit here and you read out. You can't read out threads, Liam. Well, no, there's one funny one. I just want to explain really quickly for anyone who doesn't have threads. We follow an account called Wasted. I don't even know what that is, yeah. and it says, "How do y'all walk in shallow water?" And there's two pictures. <laughs> so there's a picture of a man walking straight up, like in shallow water. And then, are you ready for it? And this is how I do it. And there's another illustration of a man doing that weird crawl <laughs> where your whole body is at a right angle, submerged under the water, and you keep your head out like a little turtle. And that's the sort of fun we're having here on Threads. Um, Kat joins us now in Lilydale. Good morning, Kat. Hey, you're on Threads. 
Good morning. Yes, I joined late last night after baby went down to sleep. Yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden, like two hours went by. Wow. So <laughs> it so, is pretty so good. I at must the admit. moment, um, we're kind of hearing Liam on it for the very first time. You've had kind of 12 hours to actually process it. What are your thoughts of threads? It's very new. So the algorithm hasn't sorted itself out yet. Mm-hmm. So you're getting a range of celebrities on your feed mm-hmm. and then somebody who could just be next door to you without you knowing. Mm, but it yeah. definitely doesn't feel like that many people. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just Twitter, isn't it? Well, like we've no. been here before. We've done this. It's oh, uh, just to be a fair, I text. never did Twitter. Yeah, I, I, never I never met did. Twitter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, so before uh, Ben, you were asking if we, we have like a 150 odd thousand um, on followers on. Yeah. Um, and you said, do we have the same amount of followers? No. <laughs> we have seven <laughs> threads. Seven? That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, hey. three, three of them are in the next room next to oh. <laughs> like, hey. Producer Tom over there. Hey, Kat, how about follow for follow? If we follow you, yeah. follow us back. What's your, uh, what's what's your, your handle? What's your threads? Absolutely. It's the textured artist with underscores in between Ooh. each word. Ooh. And by the way, for everyone who hasn't joined, uh, I'm a new artist. I do okay. lots of textured art uh, okay. and it's, Really oh, fun. Get your cool. hands dirty. Yeah. But I... by the way, when you join up, you don't have to follow everyone that you already follow. You can choose to just start afresh. Oh, so that's kind of cool. See. Clean slate. I, I like your little Seinfeld meme. I'm giving it a like. <laughs> 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 All right, Kat, you have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Take care, guys. Chuck us a follow if you're on threads. I mean, 19 people have. Thanks. 19. 19. Yeah, thanks to them. Uh, oh, 20. Oh, blowing up, <laughs> blowing up. Uh, I just did uh, our first post. Ooh, okay. okay. So, was it like a selfie or what did you do? No, so I thought I'd just like, just, just go text. So I went, who's your favourite radio show? But like, I didn't want it to seem like, you know, like we're baiting people. Yeah. So then I went, wrong answers only. <laughs> kind of quirky. <laughs> and then I've gone, hashtag first post, hashtag lol. Because it's a you funny, did. yeah. Oh. No, you hashtag that's hashtag so lol. That's one of those. That's that's one of those things where people won't realise you're doing that ironically, yeah. and they'll think you're doing it seriously. Yeah. Oh and yeah. Well, it's already got it's ben already got two I. likes, and then Joel said Ben, Liam, and Bell. Of course, but that of course if it's wrong answers. <laughs> okay. So Joel, I see. I don't know if you were trying to be nice or you were trying to have a dig at us. <laughs> Back to school today after two weeks of holidays. I used to like. I actually used to like going back to school. Like by the what? end of the two weeks, I was Lame. going like, kind of. Oh, you're such a nerd. No, I was just ready to see my mates and stuff. You know what I mean? Well, you didn't see them during the school holidays. Well, not when you're like ten. Like not the whole time. Yeah, right. What, what, do you, you know what I mean? What did you do for your school holidays? Uh, I stayed at my grandma and grandpa's house a lot. Um, that was pretty much because mum and dad were still working, obviously. And no then wonder when, when you, you want, no wonder you wanted to go back to school. No, I had fun there. It was good. <laughs> Um, I did a, I remember I did like a, uh, a basketball clinic once, which I didn't like, you know, your parents like drop you to those things. Sometimes it's like, basically, basically they can pay someone to look after you for like four yes. days. Well, I didn't even like basketball, but I remember like rocking up and yeah, I never touched a yeah, basketball Yeah, you're not again. a basketball kid. No, I'm kid. not, I'm not you're a You were a soccer yeah. kid. Wouldn't they yeah, send 100%. you to a soccer one? Well, I suppose they're just, this was the cheapest clinic uh, <laughs> on offer. Do you know what I mean though, Bill? No, actually you have, yeah, you have reminded me. I went to, um, uh, the Ashburton, like YMCA, the health club there in Ashburton, they held a school program during the school holidays and I do vividly remember going to one of their programs and it was a week long and I swear to God we just did paper mache every single day and then on the last day it was like all right now whose paper mache are we going to display in the front cabinet and it was like this whole competition and that was the whole week the whole week was like making plates and then just doing that and then you get chucked in with like kids from other schools you don't know who they are you're like am I going to talk to this kid I don't want to make friends an an absolute rort from them as well they just have to provide newspaper and like like make (laughs) their own glue and they're charging parents like a hundred dollars a head and just eat fruit all day that sucks See, I was, well, I was lucky because growing up, mum and dad worked from home. So whenever I had school holidays, I got to just run a muck at home. And I lived on two and a half acres. So I got yeah, to just like right. ride motorbikes and shoot stuff. Shoot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From the age of six. I, I hate the idea of having to do like a school holiday program. Nah, there's, there are some cool ones out there. Like there's like the pool ones. Oh, like I don't know. Like, I don't no, know if there's the, any cool nah, ones. School are, yeah. program and cool don't go together. <laughs> yeah. Did, hey, did you do a cool and or lame school <laughs> holiday program? Like, if yeah. back to school today is reminding you, like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember, you know, like there was no one at home and I was too young to stay at home, yep. so I got I had to go do this thing in the school holidays. If that if that's sort of coming back to you, even if you can't really fully explain what it was, 
13, 24, 10. We'd love to hear from you this morning. I've actually just remembered another one I went to. Mm. It was our church one, ran a school program. And so we went there and then they did that thing. You know that game where you lie upside down and they tie the donuts to a string? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, one kid did it and then started vomiting. (laughs) (laughs) And he was like on his back like, I'm going to keep eating. And I was like, what is this church? If this has brought the church of the donut, (laughs) if, if this has brought back memories for you, 13, 24, 10. Give us a buzz. What school holiday program did your parents send you to? Uh, Adrian joins us now. Good morning. What did your parents make you do? Um, I ended up going to woodwork camp down in Lake Gildan for three <laughs> nights. Woodwork <laughs> camp? Do they need a yeah. camp for that? Was that, yeah, um, that? Was that you requesting that or did your parents make you do that? At first, uh, me and two mates of mine, we were just, so against it, like, well, you know, we just want to play Xbox, yeah, like, yeah, Xbox yeah. Live just came out, yep. we wanted to play Halo and chill, but mm-hmm. now, nah, got to work, you guys have to do something, go to woodwork camp, mm-hmm. get chopped, and, yeah, pretty much, just like, make little seesaws, make little helicopters with little electric motors, and anything, like, they had on the shelf you could mm. pick. And by the end of it, did you actually start to enjoy it? We actually loved it. We ended up going like three, four more times until we got kind of a bit too old for it. So, <laughs> okay, it so like slave labor. You're actually 28. You know, you can't come here anymore, Adrian. We've told you. We've told your mum. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. You are very good at the helicopter, but you choose that every year. Okay. That's cute. And so, just quickly, Adrian, have you ended up like in a trade? Are you a chippy? Do you work yeah. with your hands? No, nah, I'm actually an accountant now, so <laughs> full full 180 on that one. Adrian longs for the woods, yeah. but he can't do I it. I like that you like in an office building, just like looking over at some tradies, having some fun on a work site <laughs> next to you, and you're just like, <sighs> you just want to you want to tear that white shirt off, and underneath just have some high vis, and you can run out with the rest of your kind. Adrian, thank you very much. Uh, Natalie in South Yarra joins us. Good morning. You sent your kids somewhere on holidays. Where'd you send them? Yeah, so my kids went to a camp Australia, um, which is run by their school, mm-hmm. and they did amazing things. Like they took them to the IMAX theater, to the museum to bounce. <laughs> they're essentially wow. just doing like the parents' job. <laughs> yeah, they're weeks. doing that. But yeah, I, I get it. Like you've got to work. Is yeah, it- like they did. They did so much cool things that I wish that I could have gone. Yeah. 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 But like, and was your kid like apprehensive at the start? Because like, I, you know, it's hard enough, you know, making friends at school and that sort of thing. Mm. Or if you join a new sporting team, but if they're like, no, nah, just go and meet these kids from other schools. I'd be like, no mm. way. That's like yeah. the worst thing ever. Yeah. Um, I think they were a little bit nervous and shy at the start, but they, they pretty much went in with two feet forward. Like they loved it. Yeah, right. It sounds, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, that sounds like you, a modern day one where they've gone, okay, this yeah. is the schedule, this is what we're doing. Yeah. When you said Camp Australia, you lost me immediately, but it does sound kind of okay. Yeah. Uh, Georgina, last call here in uh, Blackburn. Did you do one of these sort of like school holiday programs at school back today in Melbourne? Are you thinking, oh, geez, I had to do something crazy? Uh, yes, but this was a while ago um, when I was at school. My mum put me and my brothers into the School of the Blind holiday program, but we're not blind. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Did she make you pretend or...? What was that? Sorry. Did she make you pretend, or did she? No, just no, that, yeah, we didn't okay. have to pretend, oh, but good, it good, was good. an unusual choice. We thought, yeah. <laughs> was there a reason why did she do that? Well, it was local. It was quite close, um, <laughs> and I think there were other, you know, um, people who didn't have vision issues mm. that were there. But it was ultimately it was a school of the blind. You would, holiday ser- you would program certainly that hope we that you weren't taking up three spaces of well, actually yeah. vision impaired children like you would hope that it was just you know they sort of had a bit of space and it was okay we've already paid for the food and whatnot like oh no we couldn't get in this year sorry kids and then they're like seeing you and your uh, your brothers and sisters skip across the road taylor swift um we have got tickets to give away to her melbourne shows next year if you want to win them make sure you keep it on nova I knew the tickets were a big deal at the time and were giving them away like a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't realise like how big. Yeah, I must admit, like the hype was way bigger than I realised. I think hype builds hype as well, Ben and Bell. Like when people, you know, you see all your friends yeah. at work are getting the tickets. Well, I better try as well because I want to be involved. Like I didn't, I mean, 
My fiance like likes Taylor Swift. I didn't think she was like fourteen tabs on my computer, her computer, her phone, my. Is that phone. what she was doing? Yeah, when we were away for like a couple of days. So <laughs> I've never really, I've never, I've never loved a band so much that I'm sitting on Ticket Tech or Ticketmaster, really? like waiting to get the tickets. Oh, it's so a rush. How does it work with all the tabs? So is it just basically like it's? Is it random? Is it like? Is that why you have so many tabs open? Yeah. So the way it works is people think because they use the word the word queue. You're in the queue right. to get. Get these tickets, they think it's like a line. Yep. And so, but actually it has been proven, and I read this last week, mm. it is just random. So it will just pluck out people out of the queue whoa, when you're next. Whoa, so okay. hence, if you if you open up heaps of tabs, more chances. But you are then clogging up the queue as well. So, so when they're like, oh, <laughs> and they're like 40 million people were trying to buy. No, that's probably like, you know, a million people with yeah. Yeah, that many tabs over. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. people are just going bananas. Because how could you... Like, unless they're all different IPs, how would you know? That's true. Did Sarah get some? No, uh, and she was rather upset, but, um, you know, I, I said... What's your, what, what do you what do you guys reckon? You reckon we'd be able to sort some tickets Whoa! next year? Or go, I don't know. I, no, uh-uh, I, no. I, I sort of I sort of said ticket daddy will sort it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, ticket daddy. I, I think we do. I don't know. That might not come true, but no. I, I, I tried to make her feel better. I said, oh, you know, we'll work it out next year. Everyone's you know, been saying. I, like... I, I know Nova Boy pretty well. You know? <laughs> I'll scratch his back. He might scratch mine. I don't know. Well, look, um, she can't have these ones in no, the studio right now. Not. These and are... I wouldn't take them from yeah. you, just so you know. These okay? are. For you, if you want to win these Taylor Swift tickets, make sure you keep it on Nova because we are giving them away after 8 a.m. this morning. In fact, if you want to get in early, 13, 24, 10, let us know how crazy did you go for Taylor Swift tickets? Uh, Janine joins us now. How cray cray did you go for Tay Tay? <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you going? Very good. Good. Um, look, I was one of those crazy mums that was trying to get tickets oh, for my daughter for her yeah. 16th. So mm-hmm. it's her first concert. Mm-hmm. And I may have said, of course, I'll get tickets for you. It'll be fine, darling. <laughs> of course. Um, of course. Yeah, promise. yeah, not great. Not yeah. great. Um, so, look, I tried. I was doing what everyone else was doing, waiting in queues, had friends waiting in queues mm-hmm. for this, and it just never happened. Mm. Um, and then I was at an event on the Saturday, and my girlfriend mm-hmm. told me that she got her girlfriend to walk into the ticket tech in Perth and picked up a couple of tickets for her. Oh, Are you yeah, kidding me? Really? Yes. And so, I was yes. like... What, is that a thing? That yeah, happens? Janine. Apparently, so oh. you could go to the Ticket Tech places and stuff. And, Where and are do... they? I've never seen <laughs> in one. Studiaco. They used to be in, in Studiaco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's there's little there's really little because they everywhere. there used to be but one in the in like well. the shops. Like they used to have like they're, a little yeah. yeah. So yeah. so are you saying is she doing Perth? Uh, no, no, she's only doing no, Melbourne, Sydney. Yeah, yeah. So so but well, they right. they had no tickets in. So they obviously Perth, yeah. had people, you know, and so you you would assume in Brisbane, Adelaide, they might have had a, a select few hard tickets at the ticket decks oh, in those mm. places. Yes, yes. That's yeah, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> so I think they've closed in Victoria, though. I don't think there is ticket tech. ticket tech booths here. No, mm. no, there's not. But that was um that was my journey, like you know, some weeks ago. So, <laughs> did wow. you did you break the bad news to your daughter, uh-huh. or have you not told her yet? Oh, no, I've, I had to tell her because yeah. she was like, you know, watching and listening. Yeah. Um, and there was just that disappointment. And I'm like, oh, look, love, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. There'll be another time, yeah. you know, so. Well, don't oh, go anywhere because we do have a double pass to give away just after 8.30 this morning. Okay, Janine? All right, perfect, All right. guys. Everyone wants these tickets. And I think a lot of the things that was probably annoying real Taylor Swift fans was that everyone was probably jumping on the hype, making it way harder to get tickets. And what about those day oneers? You know, what about the people that can sing every lyric? Well, we do have a game this morning that is going to weed out the real ones. Oh, hey, guys. Ben, Liam and Bell's Taylor. It's me. Hi. Or Taylor. It's me. Win your tickets to see me live. And Liam, you're dead right. This is going to weed out the real Taylor fans yeah. from the fake Taylor I fans. I actually think this is probably the hardest game we've ever done. Just for me, because I, like, honestly, I listened to Taylor's version of a song and I listened to, like, the original. I couldn't tell the difference. See, I don't know, because I uh, we, we did a little practice before and I got them all right. Yep. Um, so obviously, if you are a big Taylor fan, you'd know that Speak Now, uh, she has re-recorded that album and released it, her version, over the weekend. She's done this with a few of her albums yeah, now. Yeah, she to did get Red, she did Fearless. The songs sound exactly the same. 
They Even sound. They there's like there's like yeah. tiny inflections on certain songs. Like if you can if you can hear someone's voice is like seven years older. If yep. you can if your ear is that in tune, then good luck. To so you. how this is gonna work is I've got five Taylor songs. Some are the old version and some are Taylor's version. If you can get all of them correct, you're heading along to see Taylor Swift. Haley in Cranbourne. Good morning. Would you say you're a big Taylor Swift head? Absolutely. Okay. You sound nervous. You sound like you know the pressure's on your shoulders right now, Haley. I'm so nervous. I'm sitting in the car park at work and my heart is racing. Okay. 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 If you get it wrong, we do have to move on to the next person in line. But right now, you're in the driver's seat, Haley. okay? I'm going to play you a song and you need to tell me if it's Taylor's version or the old version. The song Mm -hmm. is mine. Is that Taylor's version or the old version? The old version. Oh, I'm sorry, Haley. No way. Yeah. Oh. This is so. This is the original, the old version. I can see it now. I mean, it sounds the same. It sounds the same. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's, so hard. <laughs> it's a hard game. You can hear sorry, she's Hayley. younger. Well, maybe this is what we're saying. Maybe the real ones know. Yep. Okay. Maddie and Oakley, you ready for the hardest game in radio? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the song is 22. Uh-oh. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be all right if you kill me next to you. Is that Taylor's version or the old version? Oh, my gosh. Um, Taylor's version? Very good. Oh, very very good. good, Maddie. You live to see another day. Very well done. Yeah. All right. Okay. You've got three more to go. Okay. This is a love story. Is that Taylor's version or the old version? Oh, my gosh. Um... Uh... <laughs> Uh, the original version? Oh, I think we've got a real fan on the line here, oh, guys. I th- Maddie, I think you're a real fan, but I also think you're guessing. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> I'm just so scared. Oh, I get it. I get it. All it's right. nerve-wracking. You've got two more to go. If you get it wrong, we do have to move on. All right. Yeah. This is We Are Never Getting Back Together. Is that Taylor's version or the old version? Taylor's version. Oh, I'm sorry, Maddie. I'm sorry. You got two, but you couldn't get that one. That was the old version. That was the OG Indian Rye. There's only one song for you to get right. And if you can't do it, Sam and Clayton's automatically going to win the ticket. So all the pressure is on you right now, Indy. How are you feeling? I'm so nervous right now. I'm, like, about to cry. Oh, my oh, God. Indy, no, look, Indy. you've got a 50-50 chance here, okay? <laughs> I just want to have a chat as well to Next in Line, as Liam said, Sam and Clayton. Good morning, Sam. Hello, how are we? Very good. Now, uh, your fate is in Indy's hands. If Indy gets it <laughs> wrong, you get the tickets, okay? Oh, awesome. Good luck, Indy. <laughs> 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 You don't mean that, obviously. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like at the moment you're like um, in, in Philosopher's Stone, you know, Snape's like oh putting the, the curse oh on him. Like, <laughs> trying to like get okay. him to die off the broomstick. No one gets that reference. All right. This is, yeah, I didn't quite get that one. Oh. This is for Taylor Swift tickets. Is this Taylor's version or the old version of I Knew You Were Trouble? I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Is that Taylor's version or is that the old version of the song Indian Rye? It's Taylor's version. How confident are you? I'm, 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 I'm just stressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, just... it, you know what? We've got to take your first answer, so you can't look back. You now can't anyway. change it now. You, ha- you have said Taylor's version, and Indian Rye. We can tell you that it is. Woo! Oh my God! 
You got tickets, Indy. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. No worries at all. How are you feeling? I'm so happy right now. Oh, that's so good, Indy and Sam. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah, um... sorry, Sam. <laughs> oh, is there anything I can do, guys? Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there, we go. there isn't, unfortunately, but thanks for well, trying Indy to play. You can take Sam. There you go. You can, um, <laughs> yeah, go with each other. Well, uh, Taylor Swift is bringing her ears to to the MCG on the 16th, 17th and 18th of Feb next year. We've got your tickets here at Nova and we will, uh, yeah, we do have more to give away. Mm -hmm. Indy, you have a great day. Thank you. How do I... How do you get them? Oh, that's the, yeah. that's an off-air thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a real producer chat type thing. We're like, all right, just give us your address there, Indy. And, uh, yeah, what time will you be home? We, uh, righto. Uh, cool. Do you want cash or credit? Or? For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.